Hi everyone, have you ever looked for a backup program that has a simple interface and allows you to pick up any file, any folder for the backup? If you have, try the AOMA Backupper Standard. With this freeware, creating your own backup method, and you can also schedule the task so it runs automatically. What you need to do is download and install AOMA Backupper Standard. You can see my previous video on how to do it. You also need an external hard drive, so you can keep one copy of your files in a safe place. In this video, I'm going to show you how to backup files and folders to an image file. Then, I'll show you how to restore from that image. And lastly, how to schedule the backup task. After the installation, start AOMA Backupper Standard. This is the home page where you can see all the tasks. I go to Backup and select File Backup. In the wizard, I give it a task name so I can easily recognize what it does. For example, PC3 Finance Reports. As you can see in the File Explorer, I'm going to backup three items in the documents. The Accounts folder, the Sales Report folder, and the master key file. The destination will be my PC3 folder on the external hard drive. In the file backup wizard, there are two buttons, add folder and add file. I click on add folder and select the first folder, accounts, then open. The accounts folder was added to the list. Next, I click on add folder again, then select the sales report, then open. The sale report was now on my backup list. Now, I click on this small arrow here to find the Add File button and click on that. This time, I selected a file, Master Keys, then Open. Now, I have three items in my backup list. I click on the bar down here to select the destination. My destination is the PC3 folder on the external hard drive. Before I start a backup, I need to check one setting in the options. So let's go to the options. In the advanced, by default, this one is checked. I want to remove the check as I don't want the program to create another folder using the task name in the destination. As you can see in the file explorer, the PC3 folder is empty. Now I start a backup. The backup time depends on how big the data is. During the backup operation, if I click on the link, I will see what the program is doing. Now, my backup was completed. The program created this image file, which stores all of my files and folders. For those who don't want to keep it in a single image file like this, you can use the File Sync tool. It is similar to the File Backup tool, but it keeps the exact copy of the original structure, meaning two folders and one file in the destination. Please see my previous video on how to use file sync. In order to see the log file, I go to the task name and click on the menu right here and select properties and logs. I can verify the result of my backup here. I can go to the view to see the details like if it is successful or fails with an error code. I can also use a tool called Check Image to verify whether the image is OK or not. In order to access that tool, I go to the task name, then menu, then advanced, and start Check Image. I have to tell the program which backup point, then click on Next. The tool checks the image file and confirms that it's good. I already showed you how easily I use the file backup tool. In this section, I'll show you how to restore files from the image file. Let's delete the one file and the one folder in the source, let's say by accident. What I'm going to do is restore that file and folder from the image to the original location. Go to the task name, then menu, then restore then browse to the subfolders where I can find the file and the folder. Then I put the check on them. Then next, and then start restore. As you can see on the right, the file and the folder are restored to its original location. In this section, I will show you how to create a shortcut 
on the desktop so you don't have to start AOMA to run the backup. Let's click on the menu and select shortcuts and confirm the backup method. My backup method is full backup. This full backup shortcut will be created. Every time I want to manually run the full backup, I just need to double click on this icon. Now I will show you how to change the backup method. Let's go to the backup scheme. I can change the backup method by choosing the available one here. Basically, the full backup will make a copy of all data and put it in a single image file. If your data is large, then it will take longer to do the full backup, and the full backup requires more space to store many image files. The benefit of full backup is that the restore will be fast. If the full backup is not the one you intend to create, then you can change it to incremental backup or differential. Please note, differential is only available in the pro version. For the purpose of using freeware, I'm going to change it to incremental backup. With the incremental backup, the software will work a little bit differently. It keeps track of the date and the time of the files and copies only data that has changed since the last backup. One reason I change it to incremental is that it will be faster as the changes are small. I can further customize how many incrementals before the software makes a full back. By default, let's select six incrementals, one full, then click on OK to confirm, then save the settings. If I schedule the backup daily, then after one week, I will have seven image files. Now, as you can see in my backup point, this is my first full backup operation. After I change my backup method, to incrementals, I got 6 incremental and 1 full backup operation below it. And in the file explorer, I got 8 image files created so far. The last one here is the full backup created by the incremental backup method. So I already showed you how easily I change from full to incremental backup. In this section, I'll show you how to schedule the task so it runs automatically. Let's go to the menu again, click on schedule, Turn Enable Schedule On. I have several options. One time on a particular date at a particular time. Or every day at a particular time. Or regularly during this period. I can let the program wake my computer up to perform the backup. The Pro version allows you to let the program shut down the computer. I'm not able to select this option as I'm using the freeware. In the advanced setting, I can choose between Windows Scheduler or the backup service to handle the job, including how to handle a missing job when the computer starts next time. If I don't want to schedule it daily, I can change it to weekly, on a particular date, at a particular time. Or I can change it to monthly, one time only, or on any particular date. Then I click OK to confirm. After the scheduling, I can see the next schedule under the task name right here. So basically, that is all for file backup using AOMA Backupper Standard. If you found this video helpful, please support us by clicking subscribe and see our next video. Thank you for watching.